Welcome to this quick buy technical talk on the latest enhancements for dual write pricing capabilities for when integrating Dynamics 365 sales and finance and operation apps. My name is Corina Balan and I'm a senior solution architect in the Dynamics 365 fast track team at Microsoft. This is our agenda for today. We will start with a brief overview of the prospect to cash functional flow that is enabled by the dual write integration then a deep dive into dual write pricing, emphasizing the most recent enhancements, the seamless sync pricing, then demos for a few common scenarios, and then we will close by sharing key resources. Prospect to Cache is a functional workflow that consists of dual write solutions and features to integrate seamlessly data and processes across Dynamics 365 supply chain management and Dynamics 365 sales. In this diagram, we have illustrated the objects typically mapped as part of this integration. Starting from the left-hand side, we have prospects, customers, and contact persons bidirectionally synchronized. Parties, vendors, postal, and electronic addresses can be synchronized as well. Then we have products. These are maintained exclusively in FNO and synced unidirectionally. There are actually several tables or entities and related table mappings that are required for the unified product integration such as units of measure, product dimensions, variants, and more. For the FNO release products that have a base sales price, a price list item is created in Dynamics 365 sales and linked to the respective product. Then quotations and orders can be created and managed in either system with updates synchronized in real time. These objects can be priced using some of the sales or supply chain management pricing capabilities. When supply chain management is the pricing master for this integration, you can price your quotations and orders in sales using dual write on demand or seamless sync pricing. More details on these pricing capabilities in the next slides. The dual write prospect to cash integration has been enhanced with these next features. We have introduced support for an account qualification process where the account record is created and qualified first as a prospect and then as a customer. The enhancement includes a process for automatically converting a prospect to a customer account in an integrated quotation scenario. We have improved the sales quotation lifecycle between sales and supply chain management. With this new functionality, state and status transitions are mapped between the two apps and the policy of ownership is applied to control the actions that are available for a sales quotation when you work in sales or supply chain management. There's also a new functionality to make supply chain management pricing master. This changes how calculations for sales quotations and sales orders are done in Dynamics 365 sales. Supply chain management has a sophisticated pricing engine to determine the prices and discounts for a given order or quotation. And finally, an improved approach for pricing in Dynamics 365 sales when supply chain management is pricing master. Whenever the quotation or order or their lines are created and updated, the monetary line values, line details, and totals can immediately be updated and synced between systems. Let's spend a few minutes now on the dual write pricing options and the key parameters for configuring pricing rules for the integration. Financing operations includes a sophisticated pricing engine that can be integrated with Dynamics 365 sales out of the box using dual write. Customers can configure if all price-related calculations should be done in FNO Supply Chain Management app and then sync to sales, or whether sales could do selective price-related calculations for quotations and sales orders. Within Dynamics 365 sales, products would be integrated unidirectionally from FNO, and price lists can be optional or can even be used as a starting point until the FNO pricing engine integration is triggered. There's also the option to make sales pricing master. However, our recommendation is for FNO to be the pricing master so that all the prices, discounting rules, and so on will be configured in this system. Within finance and operations, you will have several options for the pricing engine. There is the supply chain management pricing. There is the new supply chain management unified pricing that enables omnichannel pricing and attribute-based pricing rules. And there's the commerce pricing. Dual write integration is generally compatible with supply chain management and commerce pricing. However, it only has limited support currently for unified pricing. As hinted previously, there are two dual write options for syncing pricing information between sales and finance and operations supply chain management app. 
We have the on-demand pricing. This has been available for some years now. It allows sellers to work on quotes and orders in Dynamics 365 sales, then press the price code, price order buttons, so that the data such as pricing, discounts, totals gets retrieved from FNO on-demand. Some pricing calculations can still be done in sales, or we can choose for supply chain management to be the pricing master. You can also configure trade agreement evaluation so that it allows non-zero prices from Dynamics 365 sales to be accepted in finance and operations supply chain management app. The other method is the dual right seamless sync, which has been in recently introduced. It uh, saves users a few extra clicks. So instead of them needing to press the price code, price order buttons, the line prices, discounts, and totals get calculated automatically in FNO SEM and they are saved back on the sales records after create and update events of quotes and orders as well as their related lines. Besides syncing monetary data, Seamless Sync also triggers the sync of mapped data and requested ship and requested receipt dates, which might be recalculated when the lines are entered into FNO. Seamless Sync does require for supply chain management to be the pricing master. These are the key parameters for determining the pricing master and the pricing rules when using dual right. We have a few in sales and a few more in finance and operations. In sales, create products in active state. If set to no, then the products that are synced from supply chain management will have a drop status and will need to be activated in the sales app. The sales discount calculation method should be line item when we integrate with supply chain management pricing to avoid rounding issues. The FNO trade agreement evaluation, if it contains manual entry, then non-zero prices and discounts from Dynamics 365 sales will be accepted. The FNO makes supply chain management price master when integrated with Dynamics 365 sales. If enabled, no pricing calculations are done in sales and all calculations will be done in finance and operations. This feature is a prerequisite setting for the dual right singlet stick. And finally, FNO automatically synchronizes line data and totals with Dynamics 365 sales. This is also a prerequisite for being able to configure further dual right seamless sync. In order to finalize the configuration of dual right seamless sync, these are the additional parameters to reviewing finance and operations. The FNO auto sync line data to sales. This is needed so that for the create or update of lines of type quote or sales orders in Dynamics 365 sales, we will trigger the synchronization of prices, discounts, line amounts, and more from finance and operations supply chain management. The FNO auto sync totals to sales is needed for the create, update, or delete of lines of type sales quote or sales orders from sales to trigger the synchronization of total discounts, amounts, tax from finance and operations supply chain management. The calculate and push prices is relevant for when quotes or orders are created and managed in finance and operations, and we want the prices, discounts, totals, and so on to be synced to Dynamics 365 sales. When it comes to these parameters, you should be aware that they are legal entity or company specific, while in sales they are not. So if you have multiple FNO companies, ensure that these parameters are aligned to avoid unexpected behavior. Let's see now in action two simple scenarios with dual right on demand and dual right seamless sync. For both scenarios, supply chain management is the pricing master and in sales the price of the product that we'll be using is zero. If you like to store non-zero prices in sales and use those as suggested prices, but still apply the FNO list price, discounting rules, and so on, when the sales codes or sales orders are created via dual right on demand or seamless sync, you need to review the trade agreement evaluation policy in supply chain management to exclude manual entry. Otherwise, the non-zero sales provided prices would apply. So for this first scenario, we'll be working with dual right on demand. First, we'll make sure that the feature of um, dual right seamless sync is disabled. And we can see that it is the automatically synchronized line data and totals. So let's now go to Dynamics 365 sales and create our test records. So we'll be working with quotes for both scenarios uh, using the USMF company and the same customer and the same product which will have a zero price within sales, but has a non-zero price and also some volume discounts in FNO. So I created my quote header. Let's add my quote line, choose my product. 
And I know that shipping site, it is a pricing dimension and mandatory field, so I'll make sure to add that in and save my code line. Because dual write on demand um, is enabled or seamless sync is disabled, there are no prices that are synced automatically, no um, totals. So the user has to go in and press the price code button on the quote form. Once that's done, I'll be seeing the um, prices, the discounts, the totals being synced back from FNO as expected. Let's have a look at the quote line. I'm seeing a discount of five for this uh, quantity, uh, a line discount of five. I'm seeing also some charges that have come through. This looks good. Let's now change the quantity from three to six. And again, there be no automatic synchronization of the of the updated totals. So the user has to go in again and press the price code button. You can imagine that this can be quite cumbersome for sellers. So um, this is one of the reasons we introduce a seamless sync. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, I have now an updated line discount of 10. Let's go back to FNO and see the quote to make sure that we have the correct totals. So this was quote 21. Let's open that up and look at the totals. You can see a total of 542 and that matches with my total in sales. Great. With this, we have concluded the first scenario. Let's move on to the second scenario. We'll be looking at the seamless sync. First, let's enable dual right seamless sync in FNO. So we would go first to the feature management, enable the automatically synchronized line data and totals with Dynamics 365 cells. Once that's enabled, I'll be able to see in the accounts receivable parameters of each company, the Dynamic 365 sales integration, and within there, we will have two additional flags for syncing line data and totals. You can play with these flags if you want to sync just the line data and not the totals and actually rely on the dual right on demand for syncing the totals. So you can also have this hybrid scenario. So let's create now our code in sales. I'll be using a similar data as for the previous scenario. So the same customer, same company, and um, same product. Okay, we saved our quote. Let's add our quote line and our product. I'll be using the same quantity of three as in the first scenario, so we can um, validate that we have the same amount. And let's add my shipping site as well. And save. You can also do save and close. Uh, in this example, I'll just do save. Once the quote line is saved, I'll be seeing the seamless sync in action. So it will sync my um, lines and my totals. I see now a line discount of five that came through and the fixed price charges as well. Okay. This looks good. Let's leave the quote line and assume that the seller has the conversation with the customer and then out need to change the quantity from three to six. Um, they, they can do this also from the form, from this editable grid, as well as from the new enhanced uh, product, um, uh, managing product experience that's available in, in sales. This also triggers the auto sync with FNO and I can see the updated discounts and also uh, header amount. This is very convenient for the seller as they don't need to press again the price quote button um, and the amounts are synced automatically. Let's see in FNO if we have the same values and we do. All right, great. This concludes the second scenario where we have seen dual right seamless sync in action. And finally, some useful resources. There are several categories of resources at your disposal. A good starting point is the learn documentation on the prospect to cash enhancements and the door right seamless sync. The docs explain the added value, the enablement steps, and do consider that seamless sync can be enabled on custom forms as well for quote, quote line, order, and order line. Another great learning resource is the Fast Track Technical Talks Repository. You have their technical talks on uh, topics such as prospect to cash or the unified pricing management capabilities of FNO. Finally, there are also learning paths available so that you can expand your knowledge on dual right, including monitoring and troubleshooting techniques. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you found it.